American things Europeans find weird. As a European, super interested to find out what these American things are. Before we do, I appreciate if you guys can add a subscribe button. Let's just straight into this and see what we got. If you've ever seen Quentin Tarantino's hit movie Pulp Fiction, you'll know it opens okay. with a scene in which Samuel Jackson shows his surprise regarding the legality of cannabis smoking in Holland and the fact that the French eat their fries with mayonnaise. Right. Ugh, is his reaction to the use of such a condiment. Well, we can tell you ugh works both ways, and there are plenty of things Americans eat, do, believe, and say that Europeans find plain weird. Okay. Today, we'll look at some of those things. In this you know what? I will tell you my honest opinion if I find it weird or not, bro. As a European, right? Episode of the Infographic Show, American Things Europeans Find Weird. Don't forget I... to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of Link our notification in description. Spot. We'll stay with food and restaurants for the time being. As we've discussed in other shows, not everyone in the world is so draconian about tipping. In right, fact, okay. in some parts of Europe, throwing a buck on the counter after receiving a cold beer would be totally insulting. In many oh. European countries, tipping in some situations can be seen as charity. When wait, 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 wait. Where in Europe is tipping seeming like charity? I know in the UK, if you tip, they're just going to be grateful for it, right? It's not definitely, a, yeah, they don't see it as, I wonder where. I wonder where. Visiting the US, many Europeans might find it weird that a waiter or waitress keeps coming back to your table. In the States, it may be seen as just good service, but to right. some Europeans, it could be construed as someone getting in the way of a good meal. That okay. meal, by the way. You know what? I can see that in the UK, bro. Like, listen, I would prefer someone always coming up to me and checking if I got a drink and whatnot, you know, top me up and stuff. Because in the UK, bro, I'm always left without a drink. Like, today, I went out with a meal with my family, right? I had to order. Oh, wait, you, th this might interest you, right? So I ordered a drink, and it didn't come with ice, right? And me being, you know, a future American, I was like, yo, can I have a glass of ice? with that drink as well, please. So I had to do that, and I, was, I also had to order two drinks as well. I had to order two drinks for my meal. No word of a lie, I was sat down eating my food with two drinks, because they won't, they won't come up to you and see if you need another drink and whatnot. And I didn't want to run out of drink whilst eating. Bro, you guys would hate that, dude. Could be about three times larger that. than many people in Europe are used to. In general, Wait. that meal, by the way, could be about three times larger than many people in Europe are used to. My. In general, American food portions look to some Europeans like they are supposed to feed two people. It may also seem like an act of largesse to some Europeans when someone keeps refilling their glass of soda or cup of coffee for no extra cost. In terms okay, of the food yeah. itself, as we noted earlier, Americans and Europeans have very different ideas about what goes with what. Pancakes right. for breakfast with fried chicken are you kidding me says the traveling european listen that would never well not never but that don't happen in the uk but it sounds good and i've seen it and it looks good bro pancakes with fried chicken for breakfast yo let me try it before i judge you know what i'm saying Ian, and what about putting honey on bacon for breakfast the frenchman wanted mustard with his sliced beef and tasted something not like mustard but a sweeter version with less bite the okay. italian went to chicago and in one restaurant ordered a pizza only to be served what he thought looked more like a quiche or a cake so <laughs> what about when europeans head to the store again the rather affable smile and general friendliness of staff may seem strange to someone from grumpy england where service with a smile is certainly no guarantee in Oi! Hey, 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 don't be... Re no, you're correct. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, listen. I wouldn't be weird at if they were smiling at me, but I'd be like, yeah, this is England. It'll be nice, you know what I mean? Bro, you go to the shop in England, man, their face is like this. As soon as you walk in, as soon as you leave, bro. Some people might be happy, but that's if they had a good day. May seem strange to someone from grumpy England, where service <laughs> with a smile is certainly no guarantee. Right, in okay. fact, it's been remarked that American friendliness can result in some Europeans thinking something suspicious is afoot. If that European is in really? the store to buy a pack of cigarettes or a bottle of wine, they may be extremely surprised when they get asked for ID, as that might not have happened to them for over a decade <laughs> or two. On top of Europe mainly having- Yo, do people that's age 65 with a grey beard and that still get asked for ID? Surely not. No, listen, if you guys don't mind, I know age could be a funny, you know, topic, but hey, hey, do it for me for me to learn, right? Comment down below the oldest age or how old you were. Well, recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. The most recent time you've been asked for ID, because I'd be the oldest age, right? 
You know what I'm saying? I want I want to see if any go to like 65. That would be crazy, bro. In laxer laws on age restrictions, IDing people is not such a big deal as it is in America. Okay. Only in July this year, Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher said he was ID'd in the US after trying to buy cigarettes. He tweeted, I've just been told I can't buy cigs unless I got ID. I'm 40 freaking four. Has the world <laughs> gone mad? Indeed, in his home city of Manchester, he'd probably been buying his smokes for 30 years without a problem. Yeah. And then the European looks inside his or her wallet only to see a bunch of notes that all look the same, all the time wondering how this could possibly make any sense. The good thing is, in America, you can pay with plastic just about anywhere, which is something many Europeans are still not used to. They Nate, no, 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 no. In the UK, you can pretty much pay with card anywhere now. It's very rare where, like, I have to get cash out for somewhere. Most of the places caught. They may also be unpleasantly surprised to find out when they do buy something, taxes get added on top of the price they sell. Oh, that so they is try and weird. get back to their hotel, but have to ask the way. They are told to walk six blocks this way and turn left. Only for some Europeans not familiar with the US, yeah, we don't giving someone blocks. directions using blocks may seem weird. Parts of Europe were not built with city blocks in mind and right. just gradually spread in a way that makes it hard to find your way around. When they finally True. do get back, they settle down to watch some TV, only for some Yo, how long is his arm? I know this is artwork, but you, what the? <laughs> hey, is this how you Americans can stretch your arm for the remote? Yo, we can't do that in Europe, dude. They settle down to watch some TV, only for some reason the shows are interspersed with commercials that seem to be longer than the actual minutes given to the actual content. This drives some okay. Europeans crazy. At some point, they might come across World Wrestling Entertainment and be quite confused at how some Americans can get so worked up about what to them looks like an act with an ending already scripted. You may have to be an American to enjoy that kind of drama with such passion. Uh, Turn I over like to the it. news and depending on the channel, Dead. this may also look something like a drama or a soap opera to a European. They may easily believe they are watching watching a news satire. One of the oh, great really? things in America though, for some Europeans at least- Wait, you know what? I need to do that one day. I don't know why I haven't. But I need to turn on the American news channel and see what it's like. I don't know why I haven't done that. That would interest me. Easily believe they are watching a news satire. One of the great things in America though, for some Europeans at least, is the fact that some things are open 24 seven. Ooh. Can't sleep, just go out. Shopping hours are relatively quite restrictive in many European yes. nations, but in most places in the US or near a big city, there is always something to do or buy in the middle of the night. Yo, listen, I don't go to sleep till very, very, very early in the morning, right? Like four, five, six AM sometimes right and a lot of the time i'm craving something i won't mind having a 24-hour shop that i can just go get some the only place near me that's 24 7 is the petrol station gas station and that's the limited stuff right and and it's more pricey so yeah bro i wish tw Wait, i got mcdonald's that's 24 7 but bro other than that there's nothing else there's no like shop or anything, dude. In Europe, the BBC reported that London, England, and six cities in Spain were the better 24-hour cities. Okay. Now we'll visit the sensitive issues of religion and patriotism. World Atlas puts America at the top of the list as the most Christian nation in the world. In the US, on any given day, you might hear the word God or at least see signs pointing to where you might find him. While okay. parts of Europe are also predominantly Christian, the omnipresence right. of God in the streets may seem a little overbearing to many of these nations that have forgone church duty. It's Wait, the what do you mean in the streets? streets like in the streets is like what do you mean like a lot of churches a lot of just signs a lot of crosses like is that what it is same with flags everywhere you won't go far in america without seeing the stars and stripes True. whereas in europe flags are usually designated to the top of poles outside of official buildings Don't see seeing them. one planted in a garden may induce a traveling european to believe that he is at the house of a hardcore nationalist not just someone oh, who is yeah. proud of where he comes from interesting oh, yeah. side note a 2014 survey listen that's actually true Yo, if I seen like English flags a lot in someone's garden, I'm going to be like, yo, that guy might be, you know, he might be, you know, a little bit crazy, maybe. But that's how we just see it in the UK. Like no one does it unless they're super hardcore nationalists. And normally when, from my experience, super hardcore nationalists in the UK are um, the stereotypically bold, Go to the pub a lot, and they're uh, they're quite racist. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, there'll be there'll be people that's proud of the country that ain't that. That's just a stereotype, and that's just 
the hardcore nationalists that I've experienced with. Revealed the most patriotic country in the world was Thailand, closely followed by the USA. Mm. While it may not seem too weird for Europeans, the fact that some people in the States carry firearms might be scary. Per capita, more people in the States own guns than any other country. While most cops in Europe do carry guns, it's unusual to see a cop in England, Scotland, or Wales oh, yeah. carrying a gun. The yeah, fact that regular 100%. Joes might be carrying a firearm seems fairly weird to many Europeans. Oh, it yeah. might not seem so strange to Serbians, who also have a high rate of guns owned per person. Size also matter. Wait, guns is legal in Sur Bro, this is crazy, right? I learned that Switzerland guns is legal as well. But you only hear about America when there's other countries that have it legal, bro. It, just think of that but for a second, you know what I'm saying? And he just says Serbia, there's a lot of guns. So is Serbia legal as well? Because you don't hear anything about guns in Serbia. Mad, mad, mad. But that is that is weird. That, that's even strange for me. Like, when I come to America, it would be strange for me to see someone holding a gun. That's just because I'm not, you know, I'm not used to that. I, I live in a country where you don't see them ever. Matters to Europeans when traveling in the States. In America, everything just seems bigger, and not just right. the aforementioned dishes. The roads and streets seem larger for the most part, okay. and if you don't have a car, it can seem hard to get anywhere, especially in a place like LA. That. The cars themselves seem a lot bigger, large enough to crush Mr. Bean and his mini, and the people inside <laughs> them also seem... Yo, people actually drive, but people have smaller cars than this in the UK, bro. Self seem a lot bigger, large enough to crush Mr. Bean and his mini, and the people inside them also seem big on average, if not taller, then wider on average. Okay. The skyscrapers are taller, and in general, American houses statistically have a lot more space than the average European house. Yeah, nice. One survey stated that the small. Danish had the most living space in Europe, still much less than Americans, but much more than the Brits, that to Americans might oh, really? seem their whole house is smaller than their basement. It may not be that weird, but one might ask why everything is so big in the US. As for appearance, some Europeans may find the amount of Americans that are continually decked in what looks like gym wear a bit strange as most are not going to the gym. Other styles that are- Wait, is that actually true? You guys should deck out in gym wear? So big in the US. As for appearance, some Europeans may find the amount of Americans that are continually decked in what looks like what? gym wear a bit strange as most are not going to the gym. How Other cool? styles that are mostly an 80s thing but seem to have stayed around a little are the big hairstyles and some older American women. Big lips and big breasts may also be a fashion weird to some Europeans, while in the USA the president still seems to sport a fake tan. Wait, big lips and big breasts is weird to europeans what europeans are you asking these questions bro big lips and big breasts are you asking the wrong people bro you're asking the wrong people Who, how is that weird <laughs> what on the positive side, Americans all seem to have such perfect white teeth, quite different from those Brits. This was hilariously depicted in an episode of The Simpsons in which the big book of British smiles horrifically demonstrated the apparent lack of dental hygiene in the country. So, what do you Europeans out Bruh. there find strange about Americans? And Amer Yo, how do you have to roast as the most on the last clip, bro? But it's true. From what I've seen, it is true. You see a lot of people in the UK with very, very, very bad teeth. Let me know what you guys think tonight in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Live every single day on Twitch.tv for slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.